Hey Fish Fam and Fish Fam friends. I have a, an unboxing to do and I'm excited about it. That was Tibby. I think he sees a reflection on the camera or something on the wall, so he's all excited about that. I've got a really good sun coming in behind me. Uh, so I thought it would be great for these guys. You can see these are from Lucas Brett's LRB Aquatics and I've strategically covered up our street addresses. I think mine's already all over the internet and I'd be surprised if his isn't at this point. Um, it's a public business. So I did go ahead and break the seal and there's a sticker and a card in here, um, but I didn't go any further than that. Uh, so this is a really cool sticker and I have a great place for that. Oh, that looks kind of familiar, the plant. Maybe, maybe not. I'll have to check that out. Uh, and I've been a uh, customer and a uh, supporter of uh, Lucas for a long time and have lots of his uh, fine and rare fish. I'm most proud of my Goldie Idaho rainbows. Um, but yeah, this came in the box. And this uh, is, uh, as I said, some Killies. He recently went to a big Killie convention and uh, picked up uh, lots and lots of rarer and hard to find and more exotic Killies. And uh, Lucas has a very uh, unique um, packing strategy and that's what you're seeing here uh, he keeps likes to keep sorry I'm doing the one-handed thing Tibby pull that box off <laughs> um, no, there we go. sorry um, let's see where he's been shopping at Me major I hear that pronounced we don't have them around here in Tennessee um, let's see what else we got. Here's a heat pack, and man, that feels good. My hands are a little cool. I've been outside painting on a project, uh, as you might be able to see. The light is really funky. Uh, moving on. Uh, he also uses, uh, he actually was showing, uh, boxing these uh the shipment up just a couple of days ago and did a video posted yesterday i guess and uh i teased i commented on the video he had a fish that jumped i think it jumped back in the container but see he has the ramp insulation and i saved this stuff because i do a little bit of shipping myself of fish trading and sell a little bit um but yeah these are called red legos and uh should be a pair and uh, these are the breather bags and that one's a little damp they're they're prone sometimes to that one is too but they just sweat a little bit it's not leaking um so let's see if we can see get a peep through this is the male lagos red i was saying it backwards tibby please uh i'm gonna be letting them go in uh specimen container that I have right there. Yeah, he sees a light or something. He's all over that. Uh, there's the little girl. So, of course, we know that we don't... Um, what can I do with this camera? That we don't um, float breather bags. I mean, if you had to sit them down for a second in the water, it's a second won't matter it's just if you forget it or leave them there too long you're going to suffocate your fish i'm just trying to sit that down so that it doesn't fall down and uh tibby getting on my last nerve now uh, i have scissors somewhere somewhere guess i moved them out of my way yeah I'm just going to open their bags. These bags are tough. I don't know what male they are, but like they're three or four. But yeah, I have uh, lots of Lucas things. 
uh, over the years. Uh, yeah, that's got to be a, at least a three mil bag. It almost feels like it was a double bag, but of course it's not. Get these guys in here. And you don't want any air, or as little air as possible in the bags because the oxygen exchange occurs osmotically, literally, um, through the bag. So let's see, I was hoping to have some sun. And it's, uh, I actually had these a couple of hours and didn't open them because I knew they'd be fine. Tibby, Tibby. Tibby. Yeah, he's all about those lights and stuff. Let's see if we can, the camera is sure not showing this. And I'm sure they're glad to be back together. They've been, uh, they were shipped Wednesday afternoon and I got them um, sometime this morning while I was out mowing, I was up the hill probably. I came in and saw them sitting on my little delivery table by the front door, so. Tibby, where's your ball? So yeah, I hope these guys are um, as prolific as my other antlers. I'm not going to put them in with the antlers. I'm actually considering putting them in this tank uh, for now uh, and then putting them in a little two and a half gallon I have. Now Lucas had them in little containers, but that had a continuous drip water um, change going, so I'm not too keen on using that smaller container for them. Um, I may set them up a 10 gallon, uh, but I definitely want to see if I can uh, get them to spawn. They look like they're about old enough. Achilles go young, that's for sure. Yeah, I'll do a um, product review, product review, species review on these guys but yeah I like everything about these and I love that the female has the same striping as the male. I'm just gonna let them hang out in here a little bit and then give them a little bit of uh, Daphnia see if they want that. Alright guys thanks for watching my unboxing and I uh, heard on the streets that Lucas still has some of these um, these and other really rare and reasonably priced. They're not cheap, but they're reasonable um, killifish, so check it out. Thanks, guys. Stay, stay safe, stay healthy.